Hello, hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Muhammad Saleh. Uh, I am an IMG uh, from Egypt. Um, I have used uh, Anki for my US Malik preparation and I managed to score 256 in step one. And I think that Anki, using Anki, Anki in the proper way helped me a lot to achieve that score. Since I posted my experience on Facebook, I've got so many questions asking about what's Anki, how to use it, what's the best way to use it, and you know, uh, is it that helpful? So I thought about making this video to kind of answer most of the questions that I had through this these past couple of months and help people to use Anki in the proper best way to achieve the highest score possible in uh, USMLE exams. So now I'm gonna walk you through the common question that I have had and then answer them question by question. So let's get started. The first question is, what is Anki? I mean, you probably have heard about it. Some of you have used it, some not. So let's talk about it for a bit here. So Anki is a software that you can download on your uh, computer and also download it as an application on your smartphone. And then you can synchronize between uh, your computer and your iPhone to use these cars, which, which is actually a really good advantage that we will talk about later on in this video. So what does it mean flashcard? Before you know smartphones and everything, people used paper, you know, flashcard, where in one, you know, side of the card will tell, will ask you a question like, what is the place for energy production in the cell? And, and then you think about it and then in the back it says like mitochondria or whatever. So, but then, you know, people used to have a lot of cards because obviously you have a lot of information that you have to study for your boards. So with, with the new, you know, Anki application, is, it's, a, it's, a, it's the same idea of flashcards, but, you know, in a software, in an electronic smart way. And also it's good because it helps you by smart spacing of facts that you have in your set of cards. In other words, cards that are easy for you to answer is going to send them late. Obviously, you don't need to repeat them that much because you you know the fact. But some other cards, they are difficult for you, so it's gonna keep repeating them until you get into, you know, a good level of mastering these facts. So it helps you to focus, you know, your effort and time on those weak area instead of you know diluting your all, you know, effort on the other areas. Also, I talked about the synchronization, so you can have the cards, you know, on your computer, and you can use them also on your you know cell phone in that way you can basically use it you know anywhere you can use it you know in a bus or in a train or if you are in a boring meeting or whatever you can use it anywhere because you can have your phone anywhere you can't open your book anywhere you need to be sitting you know in a specific environment but you can definitely use your phone anywhere so that's a great advantage that helps you to make use of the you know sm small five minutes here, ten minutes there that are usually wasted during your time. Okay, so that was the first question. Then let's go to the next question. Is it really that helpful? Well, of course it is. It is very helpful because you know although the USMLE is a highly intellectual exam that you need to deeply understand the facts that you are studying, but at the same time it requires a lot of memorization like you know some of the you know contraindications you know staining of some bacteria whatever there is a huge amount of material that need to be memorized you can stare at the book for hours and study it but i don't think that this is the best way using flashcard is actually the best way that both gets you to the maximum quality that you can ever get in the shortest time possible so that's a, that's a good thing. The second thing is it helps you to save time. As I said before, it helps you to use, you know, the time, the small, you know, fractions of time during the day that are usually wasted. The, the third advantage that I kind of talked about it, it helps you to focus on your weaknesses because, you know, you can spend hours studying things that you already know, but then how would you know that you know them for sure? Sometimes it's hard, especially 
you know all doctors are type A personality so you know we will even if we know that we know this fact we will keep repeating and and that's not that's not the best way because it makes you lose time you know and it's always a battle of using your time at areas that you need the most you know because finally even if you have a lot of time you're not working you're only studying your time is limited you don't have like infinity of time so it helps you to use your time wisely and standardize your performance in all chapters at the same level so by by the end even if you started you were weak at this point but you, you will keep you know repeating 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 so at the end everything is gonna be in a standardized high quality so that's why I think it's you know it's easier and when you think about it, especially for a step one exam it has over like 12,000 facts that you need to memorize from first aid so I mean it's a fair game the more you memorize I mean after deep understanding and everything after you understood everything you know you read everywhere you watch the videos now it's time to memorize that is not easy you know so thank you really helps you to make sure that you memorize things in a good way all right now we are gonna go to our third questions okay now I understand that Anki is good Anki is the best thing okay let's get started so the way it works first of all it always start with a computer so you will need to download two things download Anki application it's like a software that you download from Anki website and I'm gonna put the link for downloading the application down in the subscription you can you know find it there and then you download now here here's the thing are you going to use cards that already that are already made or you're going to make your own cards now there are some really good collections of cards some are free some you need to purchase out there and I really recommend you to use that because if you make your own cards it might be good but you know for, for especially like for step one facts are straightforward like this bacteria is bacilli or cocci, gram positive or gram negative. This like enzyme biochemistry, what, what, what are the substrate? So it doesn't really matter how you do the card, you know, because most of the time they are straightforward. So you can find any of these and there are some really good collections out there, uh, you know, uh, that have, that covers almost every word that is in first aid. And, and of course, you know, every word in first aid equals a question in the exam so you know there are some collection out there that cover almost all the words in first aids now you downloaded that file from from the internet that has the cards and you downloaded the application you open you go to the file and press right click and then you know choose open with Anki so then if you are using your laptop I mean or if you are using your iPhone or, or, or Samsung or whatever I really recommend you to sign up sign up for an account it's free you just you know put in your email password whatever and then you know you have an account in in that helps you to have the same set of cards with the same scheduling information at the same time on your laptop and on your iPhone or you know or your smartphone device and then you can synchronize synchronize anytime so that you know that's that's helpful so if you are studying you know in a bus while going back home from work or whatever and then you are done and then you are back and you want to study in your laptop so you're gonna synchronize go to your laptop and you are not going to start from the beginning you start from where you ended while you were using your smartphone okay here's an important you know uh, part while talking about cards because when you are looking for cards on the internet you will find a lot of cards out there a lot so how do you know that this card is good or not so the the card the front side of the card should be very specific in asking for one piece of information and then on the back the answer is only one word if the answer is like a paragraph that's definitely a bad a bad card because you want to do the cards in a very rapid pace you know so if, if the card is taking if it's taking you one or two minutes to only read the paragraph in the back that's not gonna help so the best card is the card that is asking you for one specific piece of information 
and it's usually a word or a sentences at maximum okay now you know we downloaded the file we know how to use it now what is the most efficient way to help us to memorize facts from Anki? This sometimes are, is very tricky because, and that's always, you know, I've seen people a, a lot struggling in this part. When you see the card, let's say, it asks you, you know, uh, where is the, again, where is the, what's the organelle that is responsible for energy production at the level of the cell? Now, you should answer the question after you read it either the answer is in your mind or not but you don't have to strain if it's in your mind at the single second that you finished reading the question then you know the card and then you can send it for like one day or three days or whatever but then if if the answer is not clear in your mind don't just you know stare at the ceiling and then ask yourself oh what was the answer no don't do this if you don't know it, it's okay. Just press, you know, 10 minutes. It will show up again in 10 minutes. Chances are you will remember it. So the way, and, and from the name, the name is flashcard. So it's, you know, kind of in flash, you know, pace. So don't stare at the card, you know, trying to remember, and that's going to make you lose time. And if you are staring, just go and grab a book and stare at the book. But if you are using flashcards, then make it in a flash, you know, pattern or pace see the card you know the answer say it it's good right just send it in you know three days or whatever if the answer is incorrect or you don't know the answer don't strain read the answer just read it don't stay in like five minutes oh I'm gonna memorize this no don't do this you just read it and then you send it again in 10 minutes after 10 minutes it will show up again and then let's see if you remember it or not most of the time even if you keep repeating this from the third or fourth time you will know it and it will be okay from that point of view. So how many cards do I do every day? So the way that I explain how to do the cards, you should be able to do three cards per minute. If you do three cards or two to three cards per minute, you can easily, easily finish, you know, somewhere between 100 to 200 cards every hour. So if you are studying for like two hours, three hours, you can do a huge amount of cards now the best thing is to start doing the cards in the beginning of your preparation don't wait to wait until the end and then oh I'm gonna start cards if you do this it's okay you know if you have to you gotta do what you gotta do but if you can do it early do it early that makes a huge difference because in, if you do it early that gives you you know uh, the maximum potential of repetition over your whole time of preparation and then you'll get the you know the maximum benefit out of that um what else so another thing so now let's say you're studying cardiology okay you started studying start studying and then you know you you've done the cards for the first 10 pages in first aid from cardiology now what you sleep wake up the next day what do you do some of the cards that you done yesterday were scheduled for today then you're gonna start your day with doing this. Do not start new subjects before finishing and reviewing your old subjects. Now, after you finish cardiology, you've done all the cards of cardiology, let's say they are like 600 or 700, whatever. After you're done with them, I'm gonna start, let's say, GI. So now what are, what are you going to do about cardiology cards? You're not gonna abandon them forever. If you do this, don't do the cards from the beginning because you will be missing a huge benefit of doing the cards so when you do when you are doing cardiology uh, gi after cardiology every day while you are studying gi you will do some cards of your do cards from cardiology after you do all the chapters at the end point you will be doing cards literally from all the chapters so all the book first aid or master the boards or whatever step you are studying is going to be in your mind and that's very important because I notice a lot, a lot, especially in step one, because it has a lot of memorization. People, you know, tend to score good in the chapters that they just reviewed and the old chapters, they don't score good. Now this, this is in general, is gonna lower your score significantly. So, but Anki will help you to keep the momentum and keep, 
you know the whole chapter is in good shape so you don't need to keep you know reviewing if you do the cards that you know is gonna help you a lot so for me myself I only read first aid like twice that's it but I've been doing the cards through throughout my preparation so even though I read the whole book you know twice but some chapters I've done them tens of times because now I'm studying cardiology, I'm doing cards of cardiology. Tomorrow I'm doing GI, I'm doing cards for GI and cardiology. The third day I'm studying hemonc, I'm doing cards for cardiology. The third time, GI the second time, hemonc for the first time. Now I'm doing whatever, you know. You see, so at the end, the chapters will be repeated a lot of times. That repetition, it will help you to make, you know, this quick recall in the exam. Because in the exam, you know, all board, all boards exams, Time is always a very important factor. If you are given like two or three days to do the questions, everyone is gonna score 260. But you don't get two days, you get only seven or eight or nine hours. So in this time frame, you will need to have a rapid and fast recall of information that will help you to, um, you know, be fast during the exam. It really helped me a lot. Like I used to have like 15 or 20 minutes, especially in step one, you know, for each block that is time that is spare that I can review because I was used you know to the rapid base of Anki when I see the keyword I, I you know the answer pops up in my mind and I just use it Be and it was easy for me because I was you know practicing on it on a daily basis for like six or seven months for my you know preparation duration so now let's go to the next question will I fail if I don't use Anki well, of course you won't fail, you will not fail. Anki is just a tool. So what is the goal? The ultimate goal is that the, the, the set of information, you understand it very good and you memorize it very good. If you can do it without Anki, that's well and good. But then Anki, Anki is really good. Just trust me on that. Try it and it's worth trying. You won't regret it. And that's a general you know, advice that is not really related to Anki in general. New ideas, when they start, they don't come to you and say, oh, I'm a new idea, you have to try me. They always come, you know, kind of whispering, you know, but you have to try, you have to see, because everything that is something new, and if you don't check it, check it. If you think it's good, do it. If you don't think it's good, just don't do it. But you have to see and, you know, take all the chances, because what if you just say, I'm not gonna, ch you know, try anything new, you, get, you will mess a lot. So, I think I have read, I, you know, I've covered most of the important parts, you know, uh, that I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, I really recommend you to see other videos on YouTube about, you know, the technical parts of, you know, how to use Anki. Because, you know, Anki, believe it or not, it has a huge, tremendous amount of options. So, I only covered the main, you know, stuff, but if you want to read more and know more, you can definitely check on the website i will put the link you know below so you can check that out also there are some other good videos on youtube you can definitely check these i have a lot of other videos in the make about my you know match experience i have done also a lot of research and clinical rotations and you know i'm working on that so if you want to follow up with me on that you know subscribe to my channel or you know follow me on facebook where i post all the updates about that we see each other again. All the best guys and you're awesome. Keep up the good work.